Hey there, welcome to the channel. This channel is all about professional coding practices. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run Docker Compose on EC2, like I did in my previous video, but this time with the help of CloudFormation. CloudFormation can really help us when it comes to repeated tasks. So like setting up an EC2 machine, installing everything and creating all these volumes, etc. You don't want to do that every time manually. So CloudFormation can help you create scripts and I've already set up scripts that can get this done. So you can clone the repository and try it out yourself. But in this video, I'm gonna run the scripts and verify the outcome. Here I'm in a folder where I have cloned the repository with the scripts. So let's open it up. Open it up in VS Code. So you can see here it has three scripts for stocks. So create stock, delete stock, and list stocks. So in CloudFormation, a stock is everything that's required by your application. So in this instance, it's a, a Docker Compose instance. There is security groups, external volume, mount point, and elastic IP. So uh, this is everything in our stack. So when we delete our stack, everything gets deleted in a single step. And that's really, really convenient. So if we go over these scripts here, we have an availability zone, and an Amazon Linux 2 ID, so the operating system for the instance. So here are the resources. It's really simple. Docker Compose instance, T2 Micro, the user data, so the scripts when the application is starting. It installs Docker, Docker Compose, mounts a volume, so we can like snapshot our data and keep it separate. It then installs Git and runs, clones and runs a sample application. So you can run up the application differently here, but this is really simple for convenience. You could also have a Docker Compose file in a S3 bucket and you could copy that to your machine and run it here like that. You have SSH security group, so you can like uh, shell into the instance and see what's going on. You can have a HTTP security group where you're, you're exposing the web port. So we can check out our application afterward. So then we have an external volume like I told you about. It's four gigabytes TP2 and a mount point with this device. So this device here is the same one that we're mounting here in the scripts when we're running up the instance. And then we have a static IP address. So we can always reference the, the instance in the same way. So if you look at the readme, the first one says here, we went over this here introduction. It's assuming that uh, you are located US in US East 1. So to run it, we export the profile that we want to use that's connected to our credentials, etc. So I have one here, copy cut, so I'll export that. And then I should simply be able to run here, create stock. So this might take a few minutes for the stock to be created. Let's go into AWS and look at our information. You can see here it's in progress. So press here. There are some events here. It's creating stuff. And we can look at already here in EC2. Nothing is here yet. So let's wait a bit and see what the result is. Seems like CloudFormation is done. So if we go again into our EC2 instances, we can see here we have one running instance. We can see here are two volumes. Here is the four gigabyte one, so the external one. And we can see here the device. That's the same as you set up in the scripts. So this looks really well. We have an elastic IP here. So let's try to sell into this instance. See everything, everything looks good. Let's do Docker PS. All right, we see some containers. This is our application. So let's check if our monthly drive uh, L as P and K. So here we can, here we have verified that uh, this external volume is mounted and this application is actually, actually using this here mounted drive. So if we go here into data, you can see some Mongo stuff here. Alright, this looks awesome. So I think 
basically there's nothing left to do except just to run try to access our instance so let's go here to elastic ip and open this up great success so here we have our instance after we have verified that everything is working and we're no longer using our machine we should try to remember to delete everything so there is a script here to delete the stuff so this, this looks good you can see it's being deleted and after this is done we should have no resources in our system so thank you for this this was a really short one please like and subscribe and tell me if there's anything else you want me to cover until next time.